Yeah, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Car of the future. Oh, the irony. The irony. Well, Marty, better start huffing it. Back in time. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Oh, dear. Here we are, 1931. First things first, gotta find out where Doc is. Uh, yeah, I know he's probably in jail right now, but just need to find out. Oh, never mind. Oh, boy. But, you know, Mario, I think you'd be used to this by now. man in the street and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction naturally you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment uh, I just I got here all right what's your opinion of Carl Sagan the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years namely rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor uh... um uh, just um... Look, there's there's gotta be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got uh, an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. This is exactly why I don't go for uh, lawful whenever I play SMT games. Because usually, the law side is to bet to this cuckoo pants crazy. Doc get himself into... Doc? Doc is his nickname. I'm good friends with Carl. You are? Really? Oh, but I need an unbiased opinion for my story. Pretend you don't know him. How would you feel about his heroic act of destruction? You know, if she were alive today, she would be perfect for Fox News. Well, I'm not so big on bomb blasts. Yes, but this bomb blasted a speakeasy, the very symbol of lawlessness and corruption. You're all for cleaning up the town, aren't you? Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Uh... Uh, no. No, uh, not really. That's uh, the spirit! Destroy them with indifference! What? If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll oh my soon gosh, be exposed for the News. pathetic wretches they are! May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Uh... All right, fine. Destroy them all with indifference. Don't care who it is. Okay, dirty job done. All right, fine, punk. Let's go and take a look at this town. See what it's got. And drag out every dirtbag and scumball that we can find. Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Edna? Oh, boy. I know. I met you back. I mean... I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, oh, no, get... down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs can smell must evil. be kept on That's leash why. at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc. I gotta find Doc. I'm pressing hold the circle button to make Marty run. Okay. Hmm. Maybe get yourself a, uh, a more contemporaneous haircut? Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like? A hunting lodge? <laughs> Shave a haircut one bit. Oh. Let's see. Stationers? You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Get out, Bob. Ugh. Terrible folks. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? 
Well, he got mixed up with Libyan terrorists, so, uh, you'd be surprised. Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. Oh. <laughs> no solicitors. <laughs> Hi, Bob! Yeah. Let's see, the Bank of, uh... Bank of Italy? What? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's totally not the Bank of Hill Valley. It's the Bank of Hill Valley, we swear. <laughs> oh, dear. How can I help you, sir? Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Well, no, Marty. You can make a deposit here, and then when you come back to the future, you'll be withdrawn from that account, and you'll be filthy, stinking rats. I mean, come on, haven't you seen... Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, Futurama. Never mind. And yeah, the last time Marty tried any future time travel money-making schemes, it nearly destroyed everything. So, uh, let's not go and dabble with that again. Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. Come for the soup, stay for the salvation. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go and uh, have a little chat with Doc. Hill Valley Police Station. Cripes, this place looks old, even for 1931. Well, let's see, it is about uh, 40 or so years... Yeah, it's about 40 years old, so uh, a little wear and tear is inevitable. Doc! <gasps> Marty! Doc! What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? The automatic hey, retrieval? 1986. 1986? <gasps> The automatic retrieval system, of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not what? in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Essentially. Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Yeah. Hey, Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Because the, the, the space time continuum down hates down you. Easy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, um, let's go and get... Oh, no. Oh. Why do we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. <laughs> yeah, you probably end up on some on god awful paranormal show. Why don't we try to tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of Tommy gun fire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a puppy mass of bones and gristle. Who writes like that? According to the byline, one Edna Strickland. Of course. Should have guessed. Yeah. Well, let's just go and train. Rationalize with them. I'm sure they're just stand up gents, eh? Hey, maybe I could talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, do you? Well, when you put it like that, that sounds kind of insanely stupid. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Well, yeah, just how messed up is your relationship where you miss somebody talking about the end of your universe? Uh, well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions can be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? What? A rocket-powered drill. What? You have um, a rocket-powered drill? Who doesn't have a rocket-powered drill? I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, Again. a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I no, said no, no. nearly complete. The 
need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket power? No, drill not into him, the past him. Not me, me. 1931 me. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket powered drill to break you out of jail? Exactly. Precisely. Uh, well, what about the space time continuum, huh? Talking to yourself caused, you know, irreparable damage to the space time continuum or something? It should be fine. I've already invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just got to go with my younger self into finishing the prototype. Yeah, and besides, uh, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much like a boo boo compared to the massive gaping C section scar you've already given the space time continuum, so I think this will be fine by comparison. How am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just. Tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the Flux Capacitor for another 24 years. Then what am I supposed Just to... Just be your charming self. From what I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Alright, well then where can I find you? Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. Uh-huh, <laughs> sure. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. Right, sure, we'll go with that. Uh, just uh, a couple more questions, Doc. Doc! Morning! Have you found my younger self yet? Uh, first off, um, where have you been exactly? Where have you been all this time? I missed you. I've missed you too, Marty. But I thought it was important to let you live your own life for a while, free from the insanity of time travel. I oh, gotta admit, on. it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months. Besides, I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers. Oh wait, they're teen- uh, Oh yeah, speaking of which, uh, ask Clara and Jewel the Bird. So how are Clara and the kids? They're fine, fine. Right now we're trying to decide where to send Jules and Vern to college. Clara prefers the 2020s, but I'm partial to the 1960s. We're planning on visiting you and Jennifer in 2011 soon. Me and Jennifer? Mm. In 2011? Oh, forget <laughs> I said <laughs> Okay, biggest question. Where did that spare DeLorean come from? Where did the DeLorean come from? The last time I saw it had been smashed to pieces by a train. It's a fantastic story. Do you remember when the DeLorean got struck by lightning in 1955? Oh yeah, that. Yeah. Unbeknownst to either of us, the lightning produced a temporal duplicate of the time machine, one that was tossed 70 years into the future. What? I found out about it during a trip to 2025 and recovered it just in time to stop Riff Tannen from vandalizing the time stream. Heavy. Hmm. That DeLorean... It's for all intents and purposes the exact same machine as the original. Plus or minus little bells and whistles I've added over the years, of course. Hmm. Huh. Fascinating. And it is a plausible explanation, so, uh, can't argue with it. Alright, let's just go and ask Doc a couple more questions later. This is David Lab of David's Brain telling you, just don't try and drive into lightning storms. Even if you do get yourself a spare car, it's not going to be worth it. 